video six of the endocrine system? Uh, I think so. All right, this one covers the gonads. Gonads. I couldn't, forget, I couldn't ignore that dumb joke. All right. Um, these are your primary sex organs, your ovaries and your testes. Uh, ovaries produce uh, two hormones primarily, estrogens, which is a class of hormones. They usually say, just say estrogen and progesterone. Uh, estrogen does a lot of different jobs. It is responsible for female uh, secondary sexual characteristics like uh, breast growth and uh, body shape and uh, development of the uh, reproductive system. The estrogen, when produced as an adult, uh, allows for the buildup of your endometrium, which is the inside layer of your uterus, uh, prior to uh, to uh, uh, implantation by a by a zygote, by a, an embryo. Uh, the progesterone, the other hormone, mostly targets your reproductive system. It's going to kick in after you. Uh, get pregnant and it's going to maintain that endometrium. They're produced by slightly different parts of the ovary and we'll deal with that in the reproductive system. Testes produce uh, testosterone and uh, a couple of others. When we get to the reproductive system we'll talk about them but uh, yeah I'll leave it that. So t they produce testosterone for this for our purposes here and that targets a lot of stuff. Their testosterone is responsible for male secondary sexual characteristics. So um, deeper voice. Uh, that's how my voice got deeper when I said that. Uh, you know, greater muscle mass, etc. Hairiness uh, and libido. Uh, one more gland, completely not related, but it fit on this slide. So I'll talk about it now. Is the pineal gland? The pineal gland is located up in your brain. It's hanging inside of that third ventricle, which is that chamber, that middle chamber, the upper middle chamber. And uh, it produces melatonin. And you may be familiar with melatonin as a uh, supplement that you can buy over the counter. Uh, it's a derivative of another molecule called serotonin. And its concentrations in your blood vary over the course of the day. You produce more melanin as daylight goes away, so at nighttime and you produce less in the middle of the day, which generally makes people sleepier at night and more awake during the day. We are uh, what they call diurnal creatures. We, we are awake during the day and sleep at night, so it's kind of a little uh, chemical uh, uh, booster to help you sleep when you're supposed to and, and lack thereof when you're supposed to be awake. The end. <laughs>